Vice President Mike Pence and his wife attended the Indianapolis Colts game against the San Francisco 49ers on Sunday afternoon, but DIDNT ended up staying very long. The VP who was the former governor of Indiana and his detailed DIDNT even make it to kickoff and left the game in protest after 49ers players took a knee during the national anthem. NFL players have been protesting racial injustice and police brutality by taking a knee during the anthem all season long. Pence's walkout has caused a media firestorm. We're here to help break down the timeline of what happened. OK, start from the top. Pence came to watch the Colts play but then walked out yes. According to CNN's Jake Tapper, Pence was in Nevada yesterday and flew to Indianapolis late last night to take in the Colts game Sunday afternoon. Before the game, Pence tweeted out this photo of him and his wife in Colts gear. Then, after the national anthem, Pence walked out. I left today's Colts game because at POTUS and I will not dignify any event that disrespects our soldiers, our flag, or our national anthem, he said in a tweet. I left today's Colts game because at POTUS and I will not dignify any event that disrespects our soldiers, our flag, or our national anthem, Vice President Pence at VP October 8, 2017 Wait, players have been kneeling all season. Did Pence not anticipate this could happen? There's speculation that Pence's walkout was a pre-planned political move to show support for the president's recent targeting of NFL players who take a knee. According to pool reporters who are with the VP, the press was told to stay inside their vans and not enter the stadium because there may be an early departure from the game. Flag was Pence leaving Colts game a political stunt. Reporters were told to stay in Van BC there may be an early departure from the game. Peter Alexander at Peter Alexander October 8, 2017 Multiple reporters said they were told that it wouldn't be worth it to leave their vans because the VP WASNT going to be there long. So, did he walk out or did Trump tell him to leave again? That depends on who you choose to believe. Pence tweeted that he decided to walk out but Trump said he asked the vice president to leave if players protested. I asked at VP Pence to leave stadium if any players kneeled, disrespecting our country. I am proud of him and its second lady, Karen, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump October 8, 2017 Either way, it looks like all parties had planned for this exact scenario. The VP also had a statement ready to release to press rather quickly. That seems convenient. So, did Pence just take a selfie and leave actually? The photo that Pence tweeted earlier Sunday morning was actually from 2014. For the Indy Star, the image looks familiar because Pence has used it before. For Sunday's appearance, the vice president was wearing a blazer and slacks, not a football jersey. So, it really sounds like Pence knew he was going to leave all along. The Indy Star's Greg Doyle certainly thinks so. What, you think he didn't know the 49ers would kneel on Sunday? Pence knew. The 49ers are the one franchise, the only franchise, that have had at least one player kneel before every game since Colin Kaepernick was the first to do it in the 2016 preseason. Kaepernick played for the 49ers, of course. Last week, following Trump's unpatriotic assertion that he would fire someone for exercising their First Amendment rights, more than half the San Francisco roster knelt. Pence knew. Hell, the media members that follow Pence were told before the game not to bother leaving their vans and enter Lucas Oil Stadium, according to a tweet from NBC News' Von Hilliard. They wouldn't be there long, because Pence wouldn't be there long. This was planned. What did NFL players have to say about all this 49ers safety? Eric Reid has been kneeling since last season and spoke eloquently about the vice president's appearance and disappearance. He knew our team has had the most players protest. He knew that we're probably going to do it again. This is what systemic oppression looks like a man with power comes to the game, tweets a couple things out and leaves the game with an attempt to thwart our efforts. Based on the information I have, that's the assumption I make.